All right, let's talk about the next challenge. And again, um, these challenges, remember how these challenges are set up. These challenges are set up to have some fun. They're a practice A type challenge to help, help yourself score. Um, and also, you guys remember these challenges, I mean, some people are saying they're really hard. Some say they're, they're easy. I think they're, they're not real easy, but um, they're set up to rate yourself. So let's say um, the challenge was set up to score five points and you scored seven the first time. Great. Try to score eight the next. Try to score nine the next. Try to score. That's the way they're set up, okay? So this is actually a pitching challenge, okay? It's a scoring of your pitching game. It's just really pretty fun. So what I've got here is I've got my, I've got my most lofted club. I have a 60 degree wedge here. I have a little Mac Daddy 4C grind here. Okay, I have my 60 degree wedge, one I use actually in tournaments. And then I have um, five golf balls. Now, uh, guys, I want you to have five golf balls, a uh, lob wedge, and then what we're going to got here is I've got a shot. My shot I'm hitting right here is 40 yards. Okay. Now, um, I want this challenge to be between 30, 40 to 50 yards. Um, 30 to 50 yards ideally for this because it is a scoring type challenge. If you want to get as close as 30, that's fine. If you want to get as far as 50, that's fine. But anywhere in that zone, okay? So between 30 and 50 yards. Now what we're going to do is this is a pitch. Now I had this on a pitching green. I will talk to you guys here in a second. If you don't have a green that you can use like this, I would suggest doing this on a pitching green. Some of you guys can do it in your putting green. Some of you guys can go out on the golf course and do this challenge when you got a little time when maybe there's anybody pushing you around you. It's a great challenge to do, okay? So take your five golf balls. Now I'm going to set these down and I'm going to throw them down on the ground where I can hit them and I'm not going to move them. So I've basically got those golf balls, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit towards the hole. So obviously I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to go through a little bit of my routine. I'm going to hit towards the hole. So I'm going to step over the first one, okay, and hit towards the hole. Okay. Then I'm going to set up over my second one. hit towards the hole. Okay? Now notice, I'm not touching these golf balls. I'm letting them lay, just like you're playing golf. I'm not wiggling them around, give them a good lie. I mean, they're pretty decent lies here, but I'm just letting them lay. I get over the third one. Okay? Okay? Now, these pitches, these are, this is what we talk about, the 80% fly, 20% roll at most. So I've got three of them up there. I'm going to go to the fourth one, let it lay. Okay, and go to the fifth one. Okay, so right now I've hit all five of those golf balls up there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go score them, okay? So we're going to go up there and we're going to score them. We're going to show you guys how to score this, okay? So I'm up on the green now. I hit those five shots up in the green and this is my results here, okay? And I'm going to show you guys how to score. So first things first that we see is that I made one, okay? If you make one, it's three points. So right now I have three points, okay, for a make. So any make is three points. If I would have made two, I'd have made, I'd have had six points. If I'd have made three, I'd have had nine points, okay? So this one make is worth three points. Now, take your lob wedge, your wedge, and we're gonna measure. If it's within one, one club length, okay, not within the grip, but if it's within one club length of the hole, it's worth two points. So right now I made the one, that's three points, okay? Now I have one inside that, that's three, that's four, five. I got another one, that's six, seven. So these three golf balls right now, I have seven points, okay? Now let's go to this one. It's not within one club lengths, but it's within two club lengths, okay? If it's within two club lengths, it's a point. So this is another point. So right now that's another point, so that gives me eight total. Okay, now I'm going to measure this last one. I go from the hole back, okay? This one is not within two club lengths, so it's not a point. It's outside two club lengths, so it's zero. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you guys how to measure the points. Okay, so if you make one, it's worth three points. Okay, so I had a make. That's three points. I then had one here and I had one about there. Both those are within a club length. That's two points each. So let's say I had them all within a club length. One club length is two points per. So I had three, four, five, six, seven. This one was out here, but it was within two club lengths. If it's within two club lengths, it's a point, okay? So that gave me eight. This last one that was out here was outside. It's not worth anything, okay? So I have eight points, okay? So that's eight points right there. So, eight points. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these five golf balls. I'm going to go back to that same spot. 
I'm going to go drop and hit them again. And I'm going to give me that total and I'm going to add it together. So we're going to do this with 10 golf balls. Now the reason we do this with, ten, with five and five is I don't want you hitting 10 in a row because it becomes like monotonous, becomes easy, we get the feel. I want you to do five, add up the points, go back, do it again. Add up the points, okay? I got eight points there. Let's say the next time I did it, I got six points out of 14 total, okay? That's the way we do this, okay? Remember, a make is worth three points. One, a ball within a club length is worth two points. Within two club lengths is one point. Outside of that, zero, okay? Now, the challenge on this, I'm gonna be easy on you all. The challenge on this is to get 12 points, okay? 12 points. When I did this in college, our challenge was to get 16 points, okay? The highest I've ever gotten on this was 21. Obviously, I had some makes and so on in there, okay? That's my record is 21 on this, okay? So remember, a make's worth three. Within two, one club length's worth two. Within two club length's worth one, total them up, okay? Your challenge is to get within, get 12 points total with 10 golf balls. Okay, remember when we throw those golf balls down, we leave them lay, we pitch them from there, we add up our points, okay? Again, let's say you guys go out there and you get nine points the first time. The next time you wanna do it, you wanna get more. You, if, say you do get 12 eventually, try to get 13, try to get 14, try to get 15. That's what these challenges are all about, okay? So this is the pitching challenge. Add up your points, mark it down, and again, I love for you all to post this on Facebook, Graves Golf Facebook page, okay? Tell us how you're doing. Do you like the challenge? Do you not like the challenge? Was it easy? Was it hard? How well did you do? How many points did you score? What's your record? That's the fun thing about this, okay? Keep doing that. Keep posting these on Facebook. Let's have fun with this. Good luck with it. Guys, doing this pitching challenge will make your pitching game much better, and I promise you, your pitching game gets much better. Your scoring will dramatically improve.